guys, this is Monkey here, and today I'm bringing you another Blender Tip tutorial on how to join meshes and create text. These are two pretty cool, uh, uh, sorry, two pretty cool features of Blender, and that's why I like them, because they're pretty cool. Uh, I'll be teaching you how to use them, the different types of things you can do with them, and yeah. Anyway, let's get started. So, First, I'll show you the basics of... Oops, a little glitchy here for some reason. I'll first, I'll show you the basics of joining a mesh. Or, meshes. I'm going to go add, mesh, cube. So there we go, now I have... Oops, sorry. Ah, no! I have two cubes, as you can see. Now, right now, these are both two different entities. One here, one here. Or meshes, or whatever. As you can see, they move separately and separately. <laughs> so, to join them, I can either do this. I can hold down Shift and click another, so they're both selected. Go to Object and Join, and to that. This is one mesh now. I can select it. I can deselect it. And I can move it in one. It is all for one and one for all. I think that makes sense. Anyway, so, uh, I'll just command Z to undo that join I did, which is another thing you can do. And the other way is to simply press Control J, and they're joined. Now, one of the bad things is that you cannot, you cannot, uh, join text and meshes. I, I know this because I've tried it and it doesn't work. So let's just test that out. So we have our text, we have our mesh, and they're both there. So you want to make this one mesh. You, oops, click this, and then select that. So they're both selected, as you can see. But then, if you're here, as you can see, there is no join. The join is not here. So you cannot join, and I'll try it, Control J. You cannot join text and a mesh. Now, text and text, you cannot join. You cannot really join anything that has to do with text for some reason. That'd be a good, like, thing for the future. So, anyway, so I just pretty much taught you how to join objects and to add text. Lots of the cool things that you can do with text are, I'll just put this right on our cube here. Scale it up a little bit. Actually, I'll scale both of these up. Oh, where did the text disappear to? Oh, here it is. So, some of the cool things you can do are you can... Oops, sorry. So, here we have... Oops, that's not good. Some flat text that says text. To edit this text, we do... Oops, still in there. Tab. Oh, darn. I'm going to want to... I'm going to have to move it out of the cube or else I won't be able to see it. I'm going to go Tab, and I can delete these letters. In a mesh, if you press Tab, you can see all the vertices and sides and everything, but in text, you can see the text and delete it. Now, I will write... Simply, Monkey. As you can see, it's text, it's flat, and we're happy. But, there are also lots of different things you can do. I'll scale this up. I'll scale this down. I don't, actually, I don't need this cube. So, here we have monkey. Now let's open up this side pane here. We don't need this for now. Let's see. Whoops. It's a bit out there. If you, sorry for if you saw that. Anyway. I'm going to go to this little object data F here. Text. You can name the text. You can do the shape, so I can do the resolution, the render, how it looks. I'm just basically go. Um, blah, blah, sorry, I'm just gonna focus on the basic stuff, which is font, paragraph, and geometry. So the offset is how sort of wide the letters are. There we go. So if you put a, a high set, it's gonna look very weird, and zero is normal. Extrude is simply extruding the letters. 
It's good for, you know, uh, intros, things like that. I'll put it to 0.1. As you can see, it's kind of thick. Depth makes it sort of, uh, rounds, rounds off the corners a bit. As you can see, sort of like, uh, see, that sort of looks like a lifesaver or something. And the resolution is just what you'll see in the, is the, sorry, <coughs> bit of a stuffed nose today. The resolution is the smoothness. As you can see, it's the most blocky. I'll close this. Font is just the font. You can choose your fonts from your, on your computer. If you're, if, uh, the, the type of software you're using supports it, I don't know if Blender supports all, uh, different fonts, you can experiment them. Paragraph centers or makes a paragraph in a different part. The character is, makes these letters wider. This, you'd have to have more than one word to use word. I'll just go key poo. Actually, no, that's kind of weird. Banana, not bananas, sorry. Monkey, bananas. There we go, monkey bananas. The word, it makes the word outer in. Line, it can change the part of the line. Offset makes it down or up or, I mean, sorry, it makes it uh, on a different angle. And those are all the main things of text. If you need any suggestions of what to do, just tell me in the comments. I'll be happy to make a video. So that's the short video for today. Uh, give me some suggestions. Lots of suggestions are welcome for different types of... For uh, uh, anything, you know, just like do this tutorial. I need help on this, that kind of stuff. And I'll ha be happily... I'll, I'll happily do a tutorial on it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. This is Monkey with another daily Blender tip. Monkey Bananas. <laughs>